Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison with the Walther Q5 match polymer frame versus the Grand Power Excalibur. I love both of these guns, both competition guns, both with 5 inch barrels. And I boned them both for a little while anyways, a little longer with the Grand Power and I am very much impressed with both of them so this will be a good comparison. I mentioned this is the polymer frame. The steel frame's getting all the attention. That one's a bit more expensive, definitely into four figures. This one right around $800 will get you the Q5 match. Now, it has that Walther cross-directional texturing on the grip that is so comfortable. So many PPQ fans love it and, and I do as well. Ambidextrous, slide stop and magazine release can be switched over to the other side. Lightning cuts in the slide all throughout even underneath with a pick rail and a blue trigger which is something that the q5 match has makes it a little bit different also cut for an optic up there you can see that i did not add one and a fiber optic front sight adjustable rear sights uh, trigger pull it's a striker fire gun i'm measuring a little under five and a half website says 5.6 but that varies from gun to gun. But here we go. Let's see how the Q5 match does. Let's start with the rabbit. Just as I remember it. Nice gun, 15 round mags. And they use the same mags that the PPQ uses. Nice handgun. Breaks down real easy. But here we have the Grand Power Excalibur. This is the, the main gun in the Grand Power, Grand Power line is the Excalibur. And this thing is sweet. Also has 15 round mags, but what this has is a rotating barrel. Well, let me see if I can do that so you can see it. Rotating barrel and a fluted barrel. All right, it's got some flutes in there. Very nice. A little different disassemble. Once you get used to it, it's fine. This is a hammer fired gun, so it's a double action, single action. The single action I'm measuring right at three and a half pounds. Some people are measuring it even lower with this gun. Also lightning cuts, fiber optic front sight, five inch barrel, adjustable rear sight. I think that they are making this cut for an optic these days when I got this. It didn't, not that it would matter. I'd keep it the way it is for now. Um, accessory rail and additional back straps. The Q5 match has dish additional back straps too. This is also a thumb safety that is ambidextrous. So it is an ambidextrous gun with the slide stop as well. I think I covered it all. Well, let's see how it does. Short, easy trigger pull. Man, these five inch barrel guns give so much confidence and I really do enjoy them. I shoot these very well. I hope I demonstrated that. I don't know if I, if I missed, I'm sure I did, but I struggle with this one because um, I love them both and they're both fine guns. Now the, the Excalibur uh, used to be 850 870 now i'm seeing them around 700 dollars if you can find one they're hard to find and this is not all over the place either i mean people love them people want them but all the attention is on that steel frame model i'm still liking this one a lot the disassemble on the walther is so much easier just uh, as we are familiar with with glock and so many others same type of deal this one is a little more difficult but I've got it down pretty well. Which one do I shoot better? That's a tough one. At any given day, it could be different. But as far as this comparison is concerned, if I had to keep one, I'm taking the Walther Q5 match. I love this. I always have loved this from day one. This is just a simpler and easier design. And I don't think that the, the recoil that is a little bit minimized with the Excalibur with that rotating barrel makes much of a difference with nine millimeter. What I wanna know is which one do you prefer? If you like videos like this, please subscribe.
and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.